Congratulations, Magnus. You're about to win it, but yes, you're right. It's not official yet. Any, any, no, anyway, I have a big game tomorrow, so I'm not... You're not celebrating just no, yet? No, no, no. No, you cannot celebrate until the tournament is over completely. What can you say about your game? Which were the critical moments? Well, I was taken by surprise in the opening. It doesn't play the Slavs so often, and so I decided to go for this offbeat line with e 4 bishop 2 It looked like you have a very quiet, very solid, very good game. Was yeah, my okay. impression correct? Mm, yeah, like sure. Like after knight d2? Yeah. Like, uh, basically, I mean, okay, before, what he does is not very critical. I think he uh, he wanted to get a solid position like in the Karakhan, like... Yeah, with extra pawns on b2 yeah, and b7. Yeah, like if I go bishop c4 and then... But maybe I had underestimated bishop knight d2, because now I get to... Um, but the structure is much more dangerous for black without the b-pawns, Yeah, isn't it? exactly, but uh, only because I get to, to rearrange my pieces. If, I, if he gets this, I think he's, he's, he's fine, because okay. he's also yeah, going c5 at some point. But, but knight d2 was very strong. Yeah, knight d2, and then I think rook e1 was also, was also good, uh, just uh, uh, waiting where he's going to put his bishop. Like, if he goes bishop a6, for instance, I, I think I take with the bishop. Uh, sorry to uh, to avoid the um, the pin, and then I, I'm not so sure. Uh, I think knight c4 was just a huge mistake. Uh, was it a blunder? We I can think say? it was a blunder. Yeah, because queen d3, he, he maybe he was for, not. Available. Yeah, he thought for a long time after queen d3. So clearly he was calculating the consequences of bishop c6 and also knight c4, and then he just uh, missed queen d3. That's what I think, anyway, because there is no... Yeah, you don't really go into this no, with black, don't. right? No, no, exactly. So, and here there were also some... He also had the option, I think, of going queen to c8. Uh, I thought at the very least I would have this. Can you just... You don't want to take on c6 because takes and bishop h2. Right? Uh, yeah, t sure, but also he can take on a3, which I thought yeah. was not so clear. Um, but then rook e8 and queen a6. Here? No. Uh, After bishop c6, knight a3, check and queen a6. Uh, queen e6. Mm. That's, uh, yeah, okay. I think that's a problem. Okay. Um, but, but yeah, here, let's say take and... She's maybe still in the game, but barely. But it's awful. It's, it's really awful. It's awful. And, uh... I mean, it's like you have a pawn up and yeah. uh, <laughs> the c6 is full yeah, of Yeah, and also, like, what happened in the game. I Can just black, does black have any chance to save something like this? Like, if, let's say, you would be on the black side, would you think that you have real chances to save? Virtually none. Th this is it what I had the feeling. That yeah, it's, it's that just it's too bad. I mean, I get the pawn to c5 and then I think it's just over, to be honest the C6 weakness. Uh, you said you haven't won the tournament yet because this game is still going on. Can we just have your thoughts on the current position between Aronian and Caruana? Yeah, it looks uh, looks very, very bad for, for Levan, but you know, it has to it has to be, be played still. Oh, King H7 simply? Yeah, King H7 maybe he goes knight to E5. E3, rook E1. And then and if after rook F8, rook D8 is the only option? Yeah, this, I, th I thought maybe but, uh, this is... Takes and king H, uh, takes in king H7, then you have queen D3. Ah, but maybe yeah. this is the point. Yeah, rook F1, E1. Or takes and queen yeah. G4. King H7, knight E5 has been played. Ah, uh, king H7 was Ah, played. no, 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 this doesn't work at all. Rook H8 and then knight E5 would come. Ah, yeah. So king h7 was played, yeah. king and knight e5. Yeah. 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 Uh, sorry. Yeah, king, king h7, knight e5, knight e5. Where's the knockout? <laughs> rook yeah. f5. Rook, rook f5. Okay, so maybe simply like this. Huh? Queen f5. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's made. And yeah, after captured, yeah. made on G2. No checks for maybe, vital. Maybe even uh, Queen F6 is more precise, just to to take the take the bishop. Let's say. <laughs> but you want to take the rook on F1 even. Yeah, but you take the bishop and then the rook. So. <laughs> just to be greedy. <laughs> Really greedy. Ah, you mean after King G2? Yeah, King G2, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah, it yeah. Seems so like Queen F6. And it's curtains. Yeah, absolutely curtains. How do you see the other positions while we wait for Fabiano to make a move and congratulate you on the victory? Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think this should be a draw. It Probably. was very interesting, you know, it was this position, what do you think? I would think this was the position. And White started to play f3 because the c6 knight is paralyzing the a8 rook, right? But how to win it with White? Or you don't yeah, have the, the feeling uh, the that... coming up, huh? Well, not really. I wanted to play a4 with White. I wanted to play a4, okay. Just in case, but if rook a6, then knight b8. Lavon Aronian resigns, and that means that Magnus Carlsen is the winner of ah, the 2019 Anti Box Super yeah. Tournament, but he already ah, knew yeah. it, so ah, not a Queen surprise. Queen h3, that was nice. <laughs> okay, so officially you are you won the tournament. Now we yeah. can congratulate yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. And Congratulations. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. But tomorrow, of course, you still have a fighting game, as we expect from you all the time. Yeah, I mean, I'm black with Fabi, so that's uh, uh, as tough as it gets. Um, but it's, yeah, it's nice to have a tournament victory in hand, but for me, nothing, nothing is done. It's a huge game. Tomorrow we play for uh, pride, we play for rating points. It's, uh, uh, it's a big deal, uh, always to, to play Fabi. So I'm looking, looking forward to it. Can you tell us a little bit about uh what made you so fantastic this year after the World Championship? It's like you really got a like, lot of energy, a lot of appetite for chess, fantastic ideas in Rapid, in Blitz, in Classical, whatever it comes to you, you just kind of kill everybody. Well, I would say that this tournament, the Classical part has not been so convincing because uh, I feel like I've gotten great positions or at least very interesting positions, uh, especially with white, but I haven't really managed to uh, uh, to use them well. And in a couple of games, I've been uh, either you know lost against Levon or or much worse against Sting. So it hasn't been that great. But uh, but fortunately, I've been good in. Yeah, but you adjusted very much to the new situation, yeah, uh, new opportunities. No, clearly, I mean, at some point, I didn't care so much about classical since I knew that. I was uh, winning the Armageddon games. Um, so, uh, but yeah, in terms of ideas, it's been, it's been great. I feel like uh, um, uh, there are still a lot of ideas from the World Championship match, and uh, almost in every game, I get to use a little. You also piece of it. tend to sacrifice pawns very frequently. Yeah. Is we that were curious <laughs> about uh, the Alpha Zero influence? If you think there is any influence on your chess by Alpha Zero, does it give you more uh, self confidence to uh, to to sack pawns because um, seeing some of uh, Alpha Zero's games? Yeah, I've been uh, been influenced by my my heroes recently, which is <laughs> Alpha Zero and also <laughs> one of my seconds from the World Championship, Dubov, who oh. who has. Yeah. Um, you know, has a lot of these ideas with with uh, sacrifices in the in the opening. So, I've in in essence, I've become um, a very different player in terms of style than I was a bit uh, bit earlier, and it's 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 been a great uh, it's been a great ride. So, how is it possible for? champion like you to refresh yourself and get the challenges you're facing to have the appetite for for chess because you're so such a big champion for quite a few years and uh, you started it quite young i just saw the film about you with the the prince of chess it's <laughs> nice to see you back when you were 13 but where do you how do you find the challenges for yourself well i mean it's been easy this year since i've i played so badly most of 17 and 18 in, in classical so it's uh, I really wanted to uh, to re regain my uh, my position in the rankings and everything so it's the motivation part has not been 
has not been a difficult uh, thing at all, and uh, I still, you know, still feel like I can I can do better. This is fantastic to hear from you, and we are very much looking forward, I think, to see some more success of yours. And tomorrow's big game against Fabiano. We know that you will be fully motivated. Yeah, for for sure, and uh, I think he will be. Uh, he will be as well. Um, since uh, I mean, the, the tournament has not gone well for him, but at least in terms of classical, he has plus one, and he has the chance to overtake me. So I think that's something he really wants to do. Definitely. Congratulations on winning a tournament and good luck for tomorrow. We'll be watching. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here.